do believe we are alive. Let's see if everything's working out right. like we should be good to go. Let me double check real quick. Alrighty then. So we got that. And it looks like we are live. Cool. Alrighty, so it's been a couple days since I was last in the Snoresville campaign. Let's uh, do a quick recap, for me at least. Um, so we have one of our armies moving south down here. I think he's collecting treasure. We've got Throg, obviously. Um, I think from there I was going to move him in. And uh, are we laying siege over here? What's, what's going on? I believe we are laying siege. Oh yes, we just got done sacking uh, Cells and Moon last time, so this is uh, this is me just hitting them again, wanting that extra cash. Alrighty, um, let's check our provinces. Nothing to build, so I think we're just ready to hit the next turn. Trying to make sure that my uh, my my chat's actually, or my mic, I should say, is picking up my voice, putting into the chat or into the stream. Looks like that's working. Cool. Alrighty. Um. Well, welcome in everyone that is uh here to watch this. I don't think we have too many people yet, but you can always uh pretend, pretend I'm a popular guy out of nowhere. But uh, I think a lot of this episode is, uh, or episode, this, yeah, we'll call it episode, I guess. A little improper to call it that just yet, seeing as I'm not, like, dedicating it as a series. But uh, we're going to focus on um, pushing in on uh, Northland and then down into uh, Midland as well, since they're still down there. We're going to keep moving Throg. Over here, you can pick up that treasure, and then we're going to move him on over to uh, Nordland as well to help. Help with uh, bringing them down. Let's build up our assassinate, why not? Uh, we know what Wolfric's doing, we're not worried about him. He's my only other army, so we'll just keep building up everything back home. Build up some defenses because you know that Dark Elves or someone else is going to come across that sea when I'm not paying attention. And I'd rather than be a little a little well defended. Oh, I still need to get Pack Ice Bay back. That's what I need to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We still got things we need to do around here. Alrighty. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and end the turn there. Copy that. And I'll see if uh, any of my, my people that I call my friends will hop in on this. With uh, the very little viewership I have at the moment. Every little bit helps, especially when you're sitting at like, you know, one or two viewers. It's, it's good to, you know, coerce a friend or two to hop in here and bump up your numbers. CK 
Ranking destroyed. Our rank gained by our synthetically shaman sorcerer. That's right. I was gonna call him shaman, but it just didn't sound right off. Didn't sound right. So we are focusing on the Darkin Conduit, and then from there we'll probably finish out Purple Sun, just because it's entertaining to watch that thing roll around. And uh, we'll start looking into like Twisted Architecture and Favor, maybe Favor's Tribute, or probably Immortality coming up here in a little bit. Um, or of Chaos wouldn't be bad. I guess Ritualistic Fury wouldn't be horrible either if we put him on a Chariot, because then he'd actually be probably used a little more in combat than he is at the moment. Yeah, I'm definitely more uh, focusing on the fights here. So let's, uh, let's bring him up into here. Let's see where a couple turns out from uh, being able to hit that. And then uh, we'll check provinces real quick. Fantastic. I'm still building Sarl back up after freaking Minlin came through and destroyed it behind me. It's buggers. But as of right now, we're just getting into proper position, laying siege to uh, the one uh, Nordland uh, Salzen, Salzen wound. I can't even speak today. It's been a rough day. But uh, laying siege to that uh, province there. Take that out here soon. Uh, raise it for the uh, the hounds. I'm going for the. Uh, is it, it's the reduction. Uh, is it reduction in upkeep, I believe, or is it uh, training experience you get? I forget which one it is. I don't know. We'll see here in a second as soon as it turns over. I'm still under, you know, still learning Norska and still, uh, still trying to, uh, uh, excuse me, to, um, remember all of their special traits and understand a lot of them as well. But this is my first campaign. Granted, I'm 105 turns in. Holy crap, didn't realize I was that far into it. Maybe I should know a little more by this point. Uh, but I don't. And uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll keep learning. Yeah, I wouldn't want to uh, pretend that I know exactly what I'm doing on any of the factions. But certainly not Norska. There's a faction that I know very little about. It's definitely Norska. Norska! How are we doing over here? So there's still six turns out from attrition, and I'm looking at three turns until I have my full towers that I was hoping to get, which is, honestly is probably going to be enough. Um, they have a lot of range components still untouched, but as long as I have those towers, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, I don't think there's any breaches in the wall. Yeah, wall's 100%. Straight. Why do they even give you this on like sieges? It shouldn't even be an option. <laughs> they're they're all inside the walls. How are you gonna lightning strike anything? Whatever. I guess it's not that big of a deal. But uh, we'll continue siege. We're uh, I think we're gonna keep laying siege until we bring in uh, Throg, just so I can minimize my losses um, with an engine army already with Wolfric. Um, I might have this guy just pop out and uh, see what he can do, gain a little experience on the side. hey -o. Causes fear when fighting against men. Awesome. Uh, we could do the training. You know what? Why not? Why not? And then we'll pop him back in either next turn or we can continue his little rant around this uh, or uh, yeah, around the area there. See what else, what uh, what other trouble we can get into. But yeah, yeah, I actually took a, a little bit of a break from this game. I just got distracted with a bunch of other games that bounced between uh, Xbox and PC quite a bit. So I was playing uh, PUBG for quite a while there on the Xbox. I, I don't really enjoy playing shooters with mouse and keyboard just because uh, when I first got into them back in, what was that? Oh gosh, it was like Call of Duty 3 just before that. Uh, it was the whole like Medal of Honor or uh, something like that. It, was, it wasn't the Call of Duty series, it was the other series. But it started off with controller and 
played all the way through, and Xbox is kind of where I started and where I've, you know, sat for the last, shoot, I think it's like nine years now. So to move away from the controller to first person shooter is just awkward. And I know that you can, you can plug the controller into your computer and you can play, uh, play PUBG on like Steam and all that with the controller still. However, you get playing against guys that have keyboards and mouses, the sensitivity is just, you know, it's ridiculous. So you're at a bit of a disadvantage, uh, in my opinion, anyway. It's not to say that you can't do it and still not, you know, be a decent player. Me in the first place, uh, you know, or myself in the first place. I'm not a decent player. So, <laughs> like, I like to say average at best, which is, you know, probably pretty accurate. So, Destroyed. I like to, you know, not give myself any more disadvantages than what I currently have. Alright, so throw oh, take oh, back. Oh, that was good. Complete that progress there. A little extra experience for Throg and build that guy stay back up. Okay, uh, let's get controls. That would be nice. I don't think I. Oh no, do I have? I do have some Fumir, don't I? Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so we have two Fumir, two Frostworms, two Feral Mammoths. This guy is definitely running heavy on uh, monstrous units. <laughs> we got three uh, armored skin wolves. Oh my god. I know what I was thinking when I built this army. I was just thinking, what can I do to make this just disgusting to look at? <coughs> oh. So I guess that's going to be the end of this turn as well. We're two provinces real quick. Yeah. And now we're just, we're just, we're just burning through our siege right here and, uh, you know, securing some home provinces as well as gathering up uh, a couple of our, um, you know, treasures laying about. And I'm just now realizing that I believe the uh, Bay of Blades, just uh, just south of the Sarl encampment, on my side of the the inlet there, or uh, that's my side of the bay, is still owned by Midland. And I need to go retake that one. Also, looks like we have. Is that Skaven or oh no wait that's a uh, that's Kislev uh, moving in on my uh, my east side over there Midland's moving around in the fog oh look at that oh that that can't be good how are they supporting that many armies they only have like half a province damn AI I wish I could support two full stacks off of half a province that'd be great. Nineteen percent. That's wow. Why a negative eight percent? Are you still exhausted? Oh, I, my bad. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um. Wow. That's actually pretty decent percentage. Eleven percent chance to assassinate. Thirty-two percent to wound him. I'm gonna go for it. <sighs> Talked it up. Thought it was going to be a sure thing. And it was, well, that's awkward. Alright, so Mirage Chariot, Cavalry, that's uh, it's not a bad thing to get. I'm not terribly worried about it at the moment. Vigor is nice, but it's not my, my biggest concern. Vampire counts. Uh, man. Income from post battle loot. It doesn't say just against uh, Tilia, which is nice. Vigor loss for cavalry. Double experience from vampires. And uh, immune to barren wasteland. Okay. Um, that's all against vampires. Uh, so I, I guess let's go for the vigor reduction. It's not a huge thing for me at the moment, but I guess it helps somewhere along the line. Uh, we'll keep an eye on no. these guys for sure. I don't like the fact that I'm kind of being split here. However, I feel like this army's going to suffer quite a bit of attrition on the way up. Forest Tottenbringer, get out of here. Impossible. Look at these spam armies. How many spearmen can we put in there? Seriously, though, I believe they have 
Yeah, they have, uh, well, pardon my pronunciation on this, but what is that, Weissmund? And then Carolberg, making a total of like 1,200 gold a turn, <laughs> and they're pumping out two full, oh, well, not full stacks, but damn, damn close to it, and very experienced stacks, too. Where's all this experience coming from? Goodness. Oh, goodness. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, let's see if we can, uh, maybe draw a fight out of, uh, Gorsell here. Let's see, what's the best option? Uh, maybe if we move down into here. Right, oh, oh, that's that's upsetting. It's not gonna lock me into that, is it? Is that not a? Can you not go? You can't, can you? You can't go ashore there. Well, that could be part of my issue. Um, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. We're just, we're just gonna keep moving on. Um, you're still, oh, you're not exhausted because you were, you failed, right? Oh, but he's on guard. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what we can do, oh, you can't move that far. Oh, was it this turn that I had you do it? Yeah, no movement range. God, this is, I'm messing up bad right now. <laughs> it's a good thing we only have two, uh, two viewers. Um, moving on past that. Um, oh, turn I'm just tabbing out real quick just to make sure that the stream is still looking fine. Still have quite a bit to uh, to learn about streaming uh, in general, as well as on Twitch um, specifically. Seeking jewels. Um, Today you bring oh, one shoot. to me. Oh, okay. I came back just in time. They want a peace treaty, huh? You know what? You know what? We'll, we'll give it to them. We'll give it to them. That way, I don't have to worry about the uh, the counterattack over here. And then we'll move in onto Nordland and push Nordland out, moving south to Middenland. I think that's the best way to go about this. And it's actually Nordland up there, Bay of Blades. So we'll give them it. Spin consecutive turns in enemy regions, better movement range, as well as Strider. I believe it's not affected by any terrain. War Beast Focus. Okay. Not currently building up an army, but if I was, that'd be nice. Uh, chances remain the same. A failure again. Wow. That's a shame. I see death. With uh, Soul Blight, building that up. I'm a huge fan of spells uh, such as Soul Blight, where you just focus on disarming your enemy, um, making it an overall easier fight for yourself. Don't think on this next turn we'll be able to take uh, Dieter Schaffen. Your Schaffen? I don't know. I don't know. They ignore me. Offerings but don't ignore me. Of death. I don't know. I don't know the proper thing to say there. We're just going to keep moving. And uh, we'll come over here, take um, Dieter, uh, Dieter, and move past into Souls and Moon. Support him on this fight. Take that one as well, and that'll be the end of Nordland in this area. Then they'll have Bay of Blades left, which they're not making any income on. They're about to have a rebellion here shortly anyways from corruption 
So it'll probably be uh, raised here in a second by a rebellion. And I'm not terribly worried about it. Don't think I'm at war with Kislev, and they actually appear. Oh no, they don't like me. It was that? Yeah, they really don't like me. That's fine. That's fine. They don't have to like me. I don't want them to like me. Uh, they're currently under siege down here, the though, by uh, the Skaven clans. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I don't know where they really came from, but Kislev has actually got quite a bit of land over here. They've got this entire like eastern. Uh, Middle country, if you will. Don't know the name for it off the top of my head. Ostlin? Somewhere in there. I'm sure. Um, anyways. So we'll check our provinces. Uh, do. Build up that defense. It's always need to have that up just in case. We've got some money coming in. Maybe we'll get out of the negative one of these days. Maybe. And I don't know if it's going to work. I'm hoping it will. I'm attempting to record this for the first time uh, using my uh, my streaming app, OSB. A negotiation. And, uh, How about again, I'm, this? I'm to all this. So I let I, you I don't talk. Know if it's working then we do. But if it does, I intend to upload it onto my YouTube channel, um, which will be under the same um, username as my uh, my Twitch, which is uh, Josh Perks is here. A uh, little bit of a story behind that one. Uh, I, I am a, a firefighter and I was working at the uh, fire department up in North Pole, Alaska. And uh, for some reason, my uh, lieutenant at the time, my supervisor, he, uh, was he was new to my um, shift and he, for some reason, thought I looked like a, a guy that he used to work with at a fire department named Josh. And I swear, it didn't matter what emergency we're on, it could be anything from a small smoke alarm to a CPR call. Whatever he needed, he would look at me, say Josh, and then call out what he needed. And it got to the point where I understood he was, you know, talking to me. Maybe uh, <laughs> I would I would get him what he needed, and then from there, afterwards, I'd be like, by the way, it's actually Nick. But it happened so many times, and on so many different calls that it was just like, you know what? You can call me Josh. Um, and the perks came from a, a joke that I played on one of the uh, the younger, the, the newer members of Proby, actually. Um, he had uh, he was placing some order. We were trying to get some new uniforms or something, and we just kind of shafted it to him because no one wanted to make a call. Uh, they were already ordered and purchased. He just needed to make sure they were there. Um, and he was uh, giving them my name to let them know that I was coming to pick them up. Well, uh, having my name stitched onto my shirt in front of me so that, you know, when people meet me, whether it be in a professional uh, manner on, or on scene, whatever, they uh, they know who I am. And <laughs> he looks at me and he asks me what my last name is, and uh, to which I responded, Perks, because he's, he's heard my last name Parks before, you know, like Parks and Rec in that reference. However... I just convinced him that it was Perks, so which he then uh, informed the the uh, the lady on the other side of the uh, um, on the line with him at the uh, alteration shop that my uh, a, uh, Mr. Perks was coming to get it, and it it stuck with Josh, so then Josh Perks, and then the is here I don't know I, I think I was like creating my Instagram account uh, for the first time. And, uh, I'm gonna say the first time, yeah, I was creating it. I don't know why I should say the first time. Anyways. And, uh, I think Josh Parks was taken. So, I just went for the next thing that came to mind. And, uh, I like it. So, I decided to keep it going. And, anyone who's listening to anything like this, but, it's not that great of a story anyways. I'm not worried about it. But it makes me laugh, and at the end of the day, that's that's what you know counts.
Alrighty, so where, where did this army come from? There was no one up, up at uh, Bay of Blades, so I don't understand where this army just came from. Granted, they're getting rather uh, beaten down with this attrition, especially spending multiple turns in the same spot. Like, that just can't be good for you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but Throg is going to take uh, this settlement here soon, and then afterwards he'll come support me over at Souls of the Moon. And uh, from there we'll uh, raise it and um, start moving down to Midland. Northern's still going to have Bay of Blades, but I'm really not worried about what they can do with Bay of Blades. It, at the moment, it's not generating any income. Mm, assault Unit Specialist. Or, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little extra fighting power. What meets the meets the Easy fight. No need to waste our time on that one. Not a whole lot of money, but we are also in the negative right now. Um, what's the reason? Oh yeah, for the unit experience and for weapon strength, that was the big thing for me because uh, Wolfric, I have a bunch of berserkers in it, or in, in, in his army. Excuse me. Um, I was originally going for the, the Serpent. I raised like three or four settlements uh, for it because I saw the upkeep, which honestly is still not a, a bad idea. Um, however, I don't know. I mean, it we're based on a, a raiding faction, and, uh, ra raiding and raising factions, so we can make our money off of raiding with uh, proper attributes. So we continue with the, the strength just because, I, you know, has smaller sized armies anyways and with a proper weapon strength buff I can continue to win these uh, fights where I might be outmanned but I can uh, have the weapon damage and the stats in my favor. And that up, uh, upkeep decrease right there, the 10% just off of these two alone. It's nice, not to mention if I put more in later on, which I might. I, I still haven't used the Fenrir Warriors too much, so I'm not entirely sure how they work at the moment. Uh, or not, not so much how they work, but just uh, in general, um, the proper use form, the proper fights for them to take. So we'll join you back in. Are we ready to go for next turn? Imminent Rebellion. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about this. With the Skaven next to me and Keys Love next to me, no wonder. Uh, oh, I didn't want that one on the province. Let's see what we can build. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's just build up some fortifications for the time being. Goodness, I... Gotta make some more income though. <laughs> so Hopefully, this next turn we'll uh, take the fight to Nordland and uh, get some post-battle loot out of that one, and we'll uh, we'll raise that. Then from there we'll go into a raiding stance and start rotating uh, down to. We could rotate down to Midland, or we could start rotating over to uh, Kisla, which would probably be a good idea. Um, they're already kind of pushing into my territory. As well as uh, they're definitely becoming quite a powerhouse in that that east side of the map, so it's probably a good idea to to start knocking them back little by little. My ice age comes. Oh yeah, the attrition from the uh, bankruptcy it applied immediately. I could have sworn that I had enough to cover last turn. Did I not? Moving. That's a shame. Okay, so they're already suffering. Oh, they're going to be suffering attrition this turn. Okay, well, I already have three towers. I should have constructed more. I had the time. I just didn't click them in. Uh, so poor on me. However, 
this should be enough. I have a couple mammoths uh, in the second army. Wolfric is on a mammoth. Um, there's two gates to take. So I'll probably send the towers forward first. Um, with an obvious reasoning to disrupt any of the missiles that they might have, or missiles, any of the uh, missile infantry they might have, whether it be crossbow men or the handgunners. And then I'll bring in my mammoths to knock down the gates, and uh, we'll move in from there. Okay. Uh, let's actually take these guys out. I thought they're not a good choice. Oh, well, this kind of beat up unit. Okay, I guess it's not a bad idea. But I kind of want the damage of the Berserkers up there, especially because of uh, Missile Infantry, they'll tear through them a little faster. Yes, Lord! By God's call! They will succumb! Chaos Marauders! You will! And we'll move them over a little bit. Should be all lined up, ready to go. Um, get our heroes in a group back here. Heroes. Ready to murder. Let's get our rest uh, of our infantry ready to go up the towers behind. Okay. So big. Javelins aren't going to be a big part of this fight just because of their Where's lack the of versatility. Yes, uh, my large units I'm not terribly worried about bringing in until we get those gates knocked down. Um, so we'll keep them back. The dark gods and as we bring in the uh, next army I'll start filtering them into the, uh, the, the group as well. Them. Start moving those towers forward. Let's see what do we have. Oh, they got the mortars as well. I forgot about that. Uh, that's a shame. Do not scatter. Well, let's see what they're aiming at. I mean, they are mortars. They're very inaccurate. And as long as they're trying to hit the towers, it's probably going to be a waste of their time. Is that coming from the towers, though? So, it's quite a bit of damage. Yeah, look at those players wasting their time over here. Awesome. So we'll get them moving in. Oh my goodness. I was not paying attention. I was just over there. My God, not even go! looking. Very well. we'll get these guys Trust lined them. out. Chaos Marauders! I've seen victory. Just grouping up all of my large units on the ground. There's no reason not to. I'm just gonna send them all through that. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's go attack that gatehouse. We got nothing else going on. guys to start using the siege towers and moving on up. Yes, Lord! Um, and then let's get these frost worms engaged as well. We used the frost worms before, so this should be fun. Let's see what he's got going on. Um, I guess we'll just push him up here. I don't see why not. Um, yeah. So, what do we got fighting on these walls? Wolfric's taking a little bit of a beating. Nothing too bad. Oh, is that a healthy group of spearmen? Let's see how healthy they stay. Go. 
it. Conjuring! A killing! Drive! What? Drive their pitiful walls! Chaos comes! Looks like we're pretty engaged in combat down here. I didn't even report through the gate yet. We haven't. Okay. I guess that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be upset about that. Um, why don't you over here? Let's have some fun. Do a breath attack. That'd be nice. Shame on oh. sorcerer! Poor shame sorcerer. Where are you? Oh, you got stuck inside. That's not good. Wilfric the Wanderer, take my bed! No problem. What do you have here? And why is he like hiding? Oh, I just have guys in the walls get shot up now. That's okay. I Get out of there. Wilfric the Wanderer. Did he just die? Do not trust so god. Prepare Keep my one with dance. immortality. I just gave him immortality, right? Tell me I did. I don't want oh my god, I don't think it was, was it? <sighs> oh, that was terrible. Unnecessary loss. A very unnecessary loss. A lot of time put into that guy. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, to show my uh, my level of play. Every now and then I make a smart decision, but usually it's just me making mistakes and somehow getting through it. Yep, he's dead. That's great. <sighs> Upsetting. Oh my god, 33,000 yes, No! <laughs> Come back to me! Walker, the eternal challenger. Oh gosh. Champion of the North. Yeah, I have a couple Marauder champions, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll pop into the great raiding camp. Here's the art mortality that I was thinking about. Oh my goodness, what a shame. What a shame. Time is time. Or could we Lacey and shoot again? Anyway. No, I won't let Lacey shoot again. Look, he is a little extra cash. So let's see, where can we get decent sorcery from? It's all rank ones? I could have sworn that. Whoa. What? Vermeer Bale Fiend? What is this? 
The shadows is pretty nice. Get that pendulum going on. Okay. Um. What is? What's the difference on this though? Replenish troops. Damage building wound and a replenishment. Spread corruption. Stimulate growth. You know what? Just for fun. And because it is slightly cheaper. And I can't say no to that. Well, uh... Let's get this diabolical splinter guy. And we'll move him down over to here. Obviously not this turn. Oh, so it's just your capacity, it's not your rank. Okay, okay. Say stupid mistakes. Er, well, but I can't speak. Mistakes. I am the wanderer. Okay, so we're getting our uh, sorcerer back. Our bale fiend, I guess. Um, got some good champions. I've got some good berserkers. I've got some good anti-large now. Uh, let's, get, let's get something else going on here. Maybe I should give him one of the, uh, the frost worms. Or I could just recruit a whole nother one because, you know, why not, right? But nine turns? Is it going to take nine turns since I got to get over here? You know what? Why not? Why not? Let's get a little, uh, a little heavy air force going on. Where's my next one? Okay. Oh. Uh, so we need to do a little replenishing on uh, both of our armies there. Uh, let's continue on. Gosh, what a stupid mistake though to lose that uh, shaman sorcerer in that last fight. And, uh, no, Jet. I, I'm happy where I am right now. I'm just relaxing right now. Doing my thing. Playing a little Warhammer. Hopefully gonna record this and, uh, put it up on, uh, YouTube as well. But, thanks for the offer. I'll come play PUBG another time with you. Not this weekend, though. I'll be out, uh, out in Cantwell. I usually negotiate with my soul, trying that out, so but we'll today that you are lucky. Military alliance. Wow. Uh, you know what? Sure, why not? I got nothing against you. I've got other things I can be. Other places I can go. So we get a couple level ups over here, or rank ups, I should, you know, suppose is the uh, correct terminology on that one. Masters of the Fen. Oh my gosh. That would have been nice to know before I just took <laughs> that male thing. Well, crap. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever. I'll we'll work on this for right now. I really should probably read a little more into this before I just start clicking things, but learn from our mistakes, which of which I make plenty, so hopefully I should be learning a lot. It hasn't started yet. My comes. Reach. Yeah, that wall should still be destroyed. I can't believe it still gives them such great odds. That's ridiculous. What is this? Uh, magic resistance. Uh, who really needs magic resistance right now against the uh, Empire? It's not a big deal. Uh, you should have, what, two two or three breaches? You would think. After that last fight. You know what, we'll take it.
I was intending on raising it last time, but with uh, the sack value of 33000 like, I can't pass that up. I was in the negative on an income. I was uh, I was going bankrupt that turn. There's no way I could pass up 33000 you know, 33000 It's just not happening. Just too greedy. There we go. Much better magic. So do you have any, any breaches? Are the gates busted down at all? Yeah, okay. So... But these gates are still standing. That's weird. It's kind of inconsistent, you know? Like, if you bust down some gates and you come back the next turn, you think those gates would still be busted down, not a different set. Chaos Marauders! I'm not really worried about these guys. Um, we'll probably put them on this far side and just have them climb the wall and see if they get into any action over there. If not, no big deal. Guys, back. Destroy that world. Um, we won't put you into a hard group right now. Chaos Marauders. Not gonna make the same mistake I made last time by just you know running my uh, shaman sorcerer in there. Shame on uh, sorcerer. That was a little upsetting. And uh, let's protect these uh, these mammoths a little bit. So we'll just move them up in, the, in this formation. Hopefully take some of that uh, missile fire with our champions up front. So maybe I will lock them out. But then once we get closer and the uh, champions are still being targeted, we'll move everyone past them then. Shaman Sorcerer can stay off on the edge over here. And these Frostworms will be my, uh, my own little fun tool on this side over here. I don't think I need to put them out that far, but who cares. This fight's over. Monster Stats! Wow, they uh they put everyone over here. Let's go back to the yes! Frostworms, we'll bring them on in. Break their artillery. They don't need that. I suppose I also could have, uh... Oh my god. Maybe I'm terrible at this game. Am I terrible at this game? I feel like I'm making poor choices right now. I'm making a lot of poor choices right now, huh? Well, we're already here. Nothing we can do about it now. Screw it. Everyone go. Target, go do something. Um, let's just start getting people on the walls. Started to 
vomiting all over them. That always makes me happy. We've uh, definitely captured that. That's good. Throw him over here. Just pull for himself. Put a ship right through that little blob and see if they're not doing much. Honestly, not worried about the Talbots at the moment. We've got so many things. I took way too many losses. That's ridiculous. Although it definitely came from <laughs> their towers on the, you know, the way it looks on here. I'm not seeing anyone with more than, uh, more than what, nine kills? Goodness. Just, just poor, poor execution. Way too, way too confident going into that. Hey, how's it going, Alex Lagoon? Welcome to the stream of, uh, of all four of us. Um, happy to see that someone stopped by. Uh, how did you like my, my uh, terrible gameplay there? I mean, I didn't lose a sorcerer that time, so I guess it's... Uh, <laughs> done now. Wolfric is still recruiting and uh, trying to replenish. Nordland is now knocked down to just Bay of Blades, which is giving them 148 income a turn, plus a negative 9. They should be getting a rebellion here pretty soon, I would hope. Um, but yeah, let's uh, see what else we can get going on. You should be able to get moving. I've never used a Balefiend before, and I really don't know what the difference is I, between them and a shaman sorcerer I mean I assume they're both terrible in melee obviously and uh, um, different uh, lores to go through which I saw but other than that I don't know what is different with their attributes you know is one, one has different mounts or something is it just and I mean obviously the sorcerer is not looking into the melee stats so much uh, but, like, what, uh, why would I choose one over the other? Do you know at all? Anybody in the chat? Like I said, this is my, uh, my, my first Norse good campaign, so I'm still figuring them out as I go. I know I'm not going to look well right now, so I should not But, I don't. So, <laughs> if you can help me out, please do. So I think we're still going to start moving uh, east into uh, Kislev and uh, take Bay of Blades back to you know, secure that province and then uh, start securing my provinces over here. I never did own these up in this uh, the corner that was uh, How about this? acquired through my I let you federation talk. with uh, then we do. Drog and his clan. They've ended their non-aggression with me. That's upsetting, I guess. I, or at least I feel like I should be upset. I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm terribly worried about them taking that. What? It's like maybe five units? And they've got to be suffering some form of attrition. They've been on the sea the entire time. Some raiding. I cannot. Five units. Yeah, I mean, that battle priest is going to hold his own, but... 
I should be able to hold that off. I'm not terribly worried about it. I thought that he had suffered some attrition, though. Um, Rock, you really need to get into a raiding camp somewhere and replenish. Where does uh, Midtime kick in? Oh, right there. Crap. Um. I might just. Oh, gosh. No, we should go forward at least a little bit. 51%. Raiding camp. You're staying so if you're replenishing and you're also getting a. Uh, Frostworm here in seven turns, taking a little bit, but that's okay. Do some small construction while we can, and then uh, move on to the next turn. Yeah, Balefiend is moving along his route. He's got quite a ways to go. It's going to take him a few turns, but that's okay. He's uh, moving into Wolfric and Wolfric has still got seven turns before he gets that Frostworm. How in the world does the AI manage to do this? How are they getting a second army on an income of 148 gold a turn? Like, I know I've, I've put it on very hard, but are you breaking, like, all laws of the game here? Are you suffering through bankruptcy because none of your guys are suffering attrition? I don't, I don't understand how... How very hard equates to the AI breaking all the, like, you know, economical rules in the game. I don't understand that. You want to make them smarter? You want to make them travel in pairs? Sure, go ahead. You want to make them target, you know, weaker settlements or less uh, defended settlements? Absolutely. But this, I don't understand. That's the major. Man, I've, I've honestly been trying to lose this place since I first got it. I've just been constantly winning these little fights and I just don't care to keep this place it's so far out there it's it's completely corned off by uh, Kislev and I don't want to keep worrying about these rebellions and honestly if I try to fight this I'll, I, I don't know I don't know if I could I, mean, I probably could I mean, it's just a bunch of chaos marauders you know what let's do it I'm doubting myself too much more confidence right probably shouldn't have confidence though, but the way I've been playing tonight, lost that poor sorcerer just because I threw him into melee and just totally forgot about him. And then I almost lost a frostworm because I did the same thing. And that would have been even more upsetting, because not cheap to replace. And not fast either. Nine turns. It's ridiculous. Even with uh, all of my research into uh, decreasing the recruit time, it's taking like two turns off. I couldn't imagine. So I'm at a slight uh, disadvantage with like uh, lack of leadership, but I think uh, the quality of my units will make up for it. Chaos so we'll do a second line. Not that the spearmen are going to be great for much, but just because they will have their large units on the outside. Be nice to support that way. And then our one little range unit here, put them right in the middle. Chaos comes. Put the wolves and the, uh, the uh, marauder horsemen together. Marauder horsemen on uh, skirmish. Keep them together on the side over here. And then the trolls and the mammoth will keep together in the back, and we'll throw them in where we need. Chaos Marauders! Your will! Take this small bit of elevation. Taking shots on the side, nothing they can really do about it. How am I getting a low threat off those guys when they have a rank four to my basic little chaos war hands over? That makes no sense to me. Oh. 
doesn't look like they care. We're just gonna move him with the spearmen. We'll move these guys over to this flank. They will succumb! Chaos Marauders! We do probably get a counter charge at this. That's your will! Your will! Chaos Marauders! Chaos Knights back here going to? Where'd they go? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna send those guys over there. Back them up there. Support our middle. The gods demand it! We want their eyes! Um, just fantastic target at the moment. It's fine, go there. Um, you guys are on the side. It's not like a race to the Fire into that side there. Um, those ones get chased off. Those guys back. Shots into the side here with this Chaos Marauders. I'm not sure why they're not taking them. Spearmen are winning that fight back there. Uh, this group down here should start winning this fight with the Chaos Marauders supporting them. It's Chaos Marauders. Chaos Marauders! Doesn't look like you guys are even fighting anybody. It's re-engaging. What do you get? So this flank's starting to fall apart. We do have the uh, Mammoths. So at least that's... Uh, Spearman will help reinforce this uh, left flank. We're gonna win the center priest uh, steadily. Auto horseman supporting there. At this point, we're just kind of waiting him out, giving it a second, seeing how things play out from here. We're engaging this uh, change target again. I guess they do have a guard mode. No, it's no time. Right now. Gas Lord, kill us on the earth. Gets more range support of this, uh, this right flank. I don't need that many fighting. Yes! One little bit. Yes. Honestly, I think those ice trolls would be enough. Attack to start the mortals! It's just a chaos sorcerer, no wonder. Yeah. This fight will be mine here shortly. Chaos Marauders! And watch that power bar just start swinging to my side. So you can full stack rebellion. I didn't care to keep this, but it's still mine. Those, Those champions just holding out. Barely losing any troops. 164 kills. Marauder Horseman doing a fine job. 80 kills. And even these uh these uh, Chaos Marauders down in here with 113 and 108. Good job. Looks like they did most of their damage with uh, their Chaos Marauders themselves. All sitting around like 40 kills. Or on the high end, I should say, the 40 kills. Worried about replenishing, but I will take the money. I will most certainly take the money. Is he? Yeah, he's just intending to go all the way around. No, 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 no. Come on through the water. 
I cannot. We're starting to take a little bit of attrition to over the there. Four corners. Wolfric the Wanderer is almost uh, almost done with punishing. I might just move him back in. I'll cancel over here, move him back in, and recruit back in uh, my own my own province. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I was going for uh, I was going for standard time. That's what I wanted. And from here, that's locked off. That's a shame. Recovery. That's not that big of an issue. It focuses a lot on monster units, which I don't have a lot of in Wolfric. I have a couple skin wolves, but it's not a huge thing. Um, crew rank for all units. I wonder if that's Lord's Army. It's gotta be, right? It specifies Lord's Army. That might be something to look into. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pop a skill point in that one next time and see if it does affect it. Um, from there though. So Wolfric is, uh, is here. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring him up to Longship. Heading out. Oh my. Gosh, why do they auto go to that? That's ridiculous. It's obviously going to be a much shorter pathway this way. That makes no sense why you would do that at all. Oh, God. And I and I should know better by now. I really should, time is time. I should just auto click like that and assume that they're not going to be idiots. I really should just know they're going to be idiots. Out of my way! Raid, get a little money. By little money, I really mean little. Gosh. Um, let's see, what can we build up? Good. I believe Grayling Boot has my uh, Frostworm. Yes. So we'll get Longship Graveyard. We'll knock out this little Northern army. We'll move on Bay of Blades up and around. It'll be a few turns, but we'll get there. to correct that that's I've got to learn to stop doing that uh, looks like Midland's moving around they're now raiding back there those buggers that'll be nice to pick up eventually um, I wonder if I should uh... no because I'm not at war with Midland currently they're gonna move back in for a fight I'm not gonna that's ridiculous. Uh, I'll take money though, thank you. Come back any time. Lord, I don't know if I can support a lord at the moment. En route. I highly doubt it. <laughs> no, no way I could. Masters of Fen. Interesting, but we're gonna move past that one for now. Um, I do like that casualty replenishment. Uh, the upkeep is another huge thing for me. So we'll get it. We'll go to that upkeep next. Then we start talking about. Who's going to anyway? So, freaking Midland has got quite a few armies in the area. However. I firmly believe that I can take them out without an issue at the moment. I don't... Why is he giving me no attack cursor? Oh, it's because I'm in range of... Okay. There we go. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's declare war. 
Purple Heart will come with me. Easy fight. Easy win. Give me the money. I'm not going to be happy with this, but I really don't care. So hopefully they venture out. Never. I'd like to take that fight. I would like to get them before they build that place all the way back up. Beast. Um, we've already moved Wolfric. My challenge, undeniable. Oh, I mean, at least my Balefiend's in range, so that's happened a lot quicker than originally thought. You come, calm you. So let's look at this real quick. Okay, so they're an armored spellcaster. Magical attack, sundering armor, but I don't want to keep them in a fight, do I? Maybe. I mean, if I build up like melee defense a little more and just make him kind of tanky, not so much the fact that he'll do damage, but build up like his armor, his health, and his melee defense, he can sit there in a fight. I could see that maybe. Okay, details. Yeah, let's give him a little bit of something. Warrior Bane. Talisman. Enchanted item. Yeah, why not? I don't have any casting items. I think my my one guy that I lost had my casting item. Oh, gosh. Um, I do have some skin wolves here. Let's get some sacking. No. I always drop enemy leadership. I'm always for that. I don't know the last time I went through everyone to make sure that they have what they should. Looks like Throg's doing fine. I guess that's kind of the end of what I have, huh? Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Alrighty. No. Fix it. Wolfric's good to go. Check my provinces. Couple things to build. Awesome. Let's start the next turn. Yeah, my income just completely disappeared on me on that one. I think it's because the uh, the raiding camp uh, leave takes away all upkeep for units or something. Look at that one again. Hmm. So, hopefully, we can... Knock out Nordland and Middenland tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. Middenland might be a stretch just because Empire might start playing around or Kislev might start playing around on my east side and I'll have to I have to move back up to defend, but we'll see. See looks nice. Towers, so two turns, three turns. We'll take the fight to them. Oh my God! I'll bust down the gates and rush my large units in. The eternal challenger. Embarking. Run and die. So right there. Block the army. Oh, I can assault units. You don't block army, do you? 
hinder or punishment. No. You know what? To let's, the four let's do corners. I don't. I don't like the fact that they're just sitting right in front of me. Thank you. Oh, razor claws. Seeker. Impossible. Kind of nice work. A challenge. And they should be on guard now, correct? Yeah. Okay. So we'll leave them in there. And then we're laying siege here. Province. All right. So. Let's So I think in three turns we should be able to take Middenheim unless they reinforce with another army. Then maybe we can get them to come to us outside of the walls, in which case I still would feel pretty comfortable in taking the fight. A negotiation. How about this? They do have quite I a let you talk. Um, then we do. Which is a little worrisome just due to the fact that a lot of that army is uh, based around large and monstrous units. Holy moly. Uh, Oslin came to the rescue and quick. Wow, that's a lot of Alberts. I, this could go poorly. Nope, okay, they weren't able to catch me. Wow, where did you come from? Kind of ruins my my plans with uh, taking out Midland. Um, let's let's uh, let's focus on this real quick, and then maybe we need to do a quick turnaround with Wolfric and get back down there. Of death. Back in the range what? over there. Do we have lightning strike on Thrawn? We don't. No, we might definitely try to take a fight. If I had lightning strike, but I don't. Which is a little upsetting. Um, let's get back to a 50%. Go to raiding camp. Keep that replenishment coming. Check our provinces real quick and turn. Uh, I think as I get playing this, you know, uh, a little more often, just because I've kind of been, kind of been uh, in and out on this campaign. Like I'll play uh, a couple hours one day, and then I won't play again for like you know, four or five days. Uh, just with my current schedule kind of being all over the place. Not to mention it's fishing and hunting season in Alaska, so I'm uh, not exactly always. 
have enough energy to get on this and, and stream and play for a couple of uh, hours. I mean, tonight I, I, I'm going to like 11 p.m. my time to be up at 6 for work. But, uh, you know, I decided to have it played a little bit. Decided to uh, get a stream going and hopefully we can start building up a little bit of a, a follower base. You know, it's nice to chat with people while I play this game, just because, well, personally, I'm not this, that great at this game. I'm pretty I decent at campaign. I've played quite a few at this point. But, uh, it's always nice to have others here, because then I can, uh, get hints and tips from them. Because we all know that, you know, we can all use a little more. Or use a, use a tip here and there, or use a, uh, advice from someone that's uh, better at this game. Because there's always someone better out there. Unless you're like Ninja Hunter or something like that, some big name. I would like to think that I'm, uh, I'm getting better with time, just not nearly that good. Nor do I expect to ever be that good. I would like to be. That'd be great. But my micromanagement skills are terrible, so probably never going to happen. Oh gosh, so four halberds. That is not nice. That's an interesting deployment. Um, kind of like it though, because that means I can uh, bring my army in on the flank here, and they won't truly be able to angle off on me. What do they have for missile infantry? I really don't remember. They got a Hellstorm ba rocket battery. That's not nice. Uh, I could have sworn they had some handgunners, mortars. Okay. So Wolfric's heavy in the infantry, which would be nice. Obviously, heavy monsters here with uh, Throg. So, let's see. We've got what? Spearmen on this side. Where's those four halberds? All on the left flank. So, all of my large units are going on the right flank. Thank you for making that easy. We're getting some spearmen that can be backed up with uh, some infantry coming from Wolfric, which will be fine. I don't believe they have any large units, so I'm just going to kind of run them in, give them a good charge, shock value. Let me kill. Let's do it together, Ready. keep the shaman back, Death being very wary of my, uh, my shamans as a reason because of the fact that I lost that one in yes. uh, that siege battle that I just totally lost We're track of. Should, oh, should not have died, but it just goes back to my poor micromanagement skills. So we'll get set up over here. And we'll just start moving. Now is our time. I did like these uh, these javelin throwers um, when I was fighting against other Norsecan tribes, just Chaos due to the fact that there's always like a large amount of uh, monsters. But now that I'm fighting against like Empire, I don't really see as much of a use for them. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're good against cavalry, but. Honestly, they're just they might be dead weight at this point. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them here just in case. Uh, maybe I find a very useful. And with their stats going up, they're doing all right. Standard fight, or just attacking infantry, I should say. But I feel like I can really have a better hand for it. Moving out. No time wasted. Faster! A blade's hunger! Be Push on close. Kill the board real quick, because why not? I'll take hits! Do not scatter! It's not like anyone's taking too much damage just yet, that's nice. Is their Lord Land? Is that what's going on? Where can losing the 
ice cream. Let's, uh, let's move you out of there then. Let's get out of the butt. Come on. We gotta play some of the They will succumb! Uh, Throg, let's, uh. Feeding time! Let's do a breath attack on these space swords. Chaos the Rodas! Ravagen! They will succumb! Have units sit here. Kill them! Dark. Kill them all! Now is our time! Fast forward and let it move through. I'm taking out a couple of those last little handgunners there. Thought we were all targeting on him. Maybe not. Okay. Anyways. Decisive victory. How decisive it really was. Frostworms did some good damage. Berserkers is always probably one of my favorite units, honestly, for the price and the damage they can do. Mm, looks like a couple of their halberds got a good piece of me, which not surprising by any means. Although it looks like a lot of their missile infantry was null and void, which is always good to see. Student, so you're not within reinforcement. I, and I believe. Where's my next? Quest? Maybe not. World no, okay. Let's try it though. Oh yeah. Oh come on. Really, you're gonna give him that good of odds? Ah, we'll fight it real quick. Start the deployment on this. Really not worried about it. Yes, Chief Perfect Dunn. deployment. Just drop you in like so. so be it. Chaos Although the last time I said that, you know, things didn't go so much for me. I'm way too confident. But they will succumb. I'm okay making that mistake again. I think maybe. Arms key towers. No real organization to this. Kind of just dropping them in. Give me flesh! Rock ready! Shame on sorcerer! 
Yes, Chieftain! Still in this fight. Get out of here. Go. I didn't like the odds they were here. And then the uh, auto is off screen, so took it for myself. One loss. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Where did Oslin come from, though? I didn't see them anywhere on the map, and then all of a sudden, two full stacks are right there next to Midnight. And apparently, they're not even allied with Midnight. They're just in the area. Settlement. Oh, are you guys still alive? You that. you retreated. I killed you once again. Right, oh my gosh. Arms. Anyways. Um, let's get the natural healing. I would love to get a little more replenishment going on. Where are we at right now? Are we... Would that provide us with anything? I don't think it would. No, that's where we are. That was okay. my idea. Move back towards uh, Wolfric here. The eternal challenger. Uh, they're already at full stack. No. Hey, Molly. Crossbones. That's right. Ensure we're in reinforcement range. My challenge. That's not a mistake. I'm undeniable. Make. make a lot. Of I don't need to make that one. Okay, so the armies are good to go. Fifty thousand gold in the bank. But I don't have an income of 488. So if I start trying to build another army right now, it's just gonna fall apart quick. Empty the doors. Bigger slime for them. Nutrition suffered. Into barren wasteland. Give me that public order, I guess. progress, especially now that Austin's peeked their head in, um, but that one army is smashing smithereens, I think they have like four units left, and I don't even know how they're still left, they're not even moving with the Lord at the moment, and uh, your ally has been attacked by, uh, yeah, why not? 
It's nice to have someone fighting with me. I mean, we're all kind of like members of chaos, so as long as they don't mind me, you know, swinging away every now and then, possibly not caring if I kill them or not. Eats his enemies. You know, that one might be alright when he's, you know, fighting the uh, Empire of Men, but as soon as he starts getting towards, like, the uh, green skins or anything like that, you might want to lay off. Let's go Fate of Mana. Middenheim completely undefended right now? Is that what I'm seeing? Because I'll, I'll take that. I'll just move right in. We'll, uh, we'll sit down right. 51%? What? Oh my god. You're killing me. Almost literally. Am I gonna lose anybody if I don't resolve this? No. 289, 900, I'll take that all day. Wow, okay, yeah. Do we gained allegiance with the, the... Yes, we have. Nice. Upkeep for sure. him a little more sustainable I to fight. Am the wanderer. Mm. Feebling foe. I want that pendulum is what I want. Casting absorption speed. Yeah, let's go with pendulum. We'll do smoke mirrors on top of it, but gotta get that pendulum. Alrighty, um, that's everybody. My Wolf challenge is sit still. undeniable. So I guess we'll just sit next to him to support him. I was really hoping to uh, be in a raiding camp so I could replenish a little bit. But I kind of messed that one up. Anything of the provinces to do? No? And moving along. So, then we're now at war with uh, Oslin and uh, Hochland, Hochland, however they want to pronounce it. I guess Hochland sounds a little more. Uh, what's the right word there? Reasonable? I, I would bet it's Hochland. If I'm wrong, someone correct me, please. We'll, uh, we'll keep moving south, we'll knock out uh, Midland, and then we'll move east. So we'll still move east eventually. Your allegiance grows, my lord, and can be strengthened further still as you raise further settlements and erect monoliths in their place. Build it's upon like this bond oh, that and awesome ascend beneath oh. your god's gaze. The, the riches of the old world are at your mercy. From? Feast upon them as you would a suckling pig. That's a little scary. Not likely. They're replenishing, so we should be fine. And next turn, I can probably attack them. I don't know if I want to just yet, just because I need to replenish. Especially Throg. Wolfric isn't terrible. I am the one. Awesome come from. I mean, they 
I've got a couple over here, but goodness. Okay. Um. Province, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the wow. I needed that by, the, by uh, my current play level tonight on this game is uh, is definitely a wow from Owen Wilson. A nice one. Um, it's, it's not been impressive. I mean, I haven't lost a fight, so, I mean, scoreboard looks all right in that. However, I've definitely lost some uh, key units when I really shouldn't have. I travel the world seeking jewels. Today you bring one to me. Really? You're gonna ask for a peace treaty? Oh, I mean, no. No, I don't need that money right now. I'll just kill you and take it off your corpse. So we'll move into Dieter Shuffin and we'll go into a raiding camp to replenish and make a little extra cash and, uh,. Maybe we'll recruit uh, one last unit into a Wolfram's Army. It does need to fill that one slot. And I was hoping to do a uh, Frostworm, but don't know if that's going to be reasonable. Nine turns. That's ridiculous. Look at this. Midlands of. What is going on? Where are these armies coming from? Like, Midland doesn't have anything on that side. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. I see that. Game screwing with me. I don't like that at all. I'll get there. Why are we not making any cash? Are they? Oh, they're not for producing any. Okay. Where's Still, my next come on. quarry? Give me something. I'm here. I'm raiding up this area. I should get something out of it. Pushing on. We're not making nearly as much progress as I was hoping to make. Uh, I was hoping to get rid of Midland in the night. Uh, I'm only thinking about streaming for maybe another 10 more minutes. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll probably knock out this little uh, this settlement of Austin over here once everyone replenishes, and maybe the Midland army. Of course, we need to assassinate that little guy. He's going down. Assaulting my units, how dare he. But yeah, so we'll, we'll make some progress. Um, doubt we'll get all the way down there you know, and knock out Midland completely, especially with uh, and uh, Oslin now on my uh, case right there next to me. I am the wanderer. Wow, almost fully replenished. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, come on. 72% chance, I will take that. Thank you. And moving on. Yeah, gained another 1500 hit points on him. I love that. World Walker. Done and done. I'm challenged. We'll raise this. We'll A fight! The, uh, the hound. Is that for everyone? Like, I can't be okay, Let me just double check something real quick. Pop out of there real quick. No, it's not for it's not for everyone. That's a shame. That was misleading. I see death. You're not the one. 
Wasted a skill point in that. Didn't specify Lord's Army though. Then again, I'm a I'm a fool, and I you know can be a little too hopeful sometimes, so that might be on me as well. Um. So I guess our next thing to do is just to keep pushing up there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I'll probably give him more hit points. Probably a solid idea. 15% of 14,000 make this guy a freaking tank. Upgraded pendulum, please. 15% ward save. No, you don't need that. Um, you will take. Is that, is that Wolfric? No, that's not Wolfric. Is who is that? Take that from him. I don't know who that is. It's yours now. We're done moving our units, I believe. Let's go get to that Skull Island real quick. It's uncontested water, so we're punishing anyways. My turn. So, yeah, we'll get Skull Island. Um, Start moving south. We'll target down Midland first, and I probably will end after we get moving that way. Looking at being done here in the next like five minutes or so, but uh, thank you everyone that's here in the stream. Uh, I'm just starting out, so getting even six viewers is, uh, is, is a nice place for me to be. I don't have a stream schedule at the moment, although I am online. I usually am online How for about, about an hour or two, maybe three I let at a time. You talk, I then bounce we around do. between, uh, obviously, Total War Warhammer 2. I uh, love these these uh, games, this series. Played since the first uh, Shogun, and it's just a fantastic series. No, we're not giving you peace treaty. That's not happening. Um, but uh, I'm also going to be recording this and attempting to upload it onto YouTube. I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. I am recording, and I assume it's pretty user-friendly. But knowing myself, I'll probably find a way to screw it up. So, hopefully, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be under the same uh, same username as the one that I'm using here on Twitch, which is, uh, which is excuse me, Josh Perks is here. And uh, Hopefully we'll uh, make this more of a, a common thing on my channel. I would like to uh, continue this. I really enjoy playing the games, and if I can kind of a, a small little group here to cheer me on when I need it, this game as much as I like to think of it. And to give me advice, because I really need advice, especially on uh, Norska. This being my first campaign, I'm making mistakes left and right. Um, I don't know if any of you guys caught my earlier streams. I doubt it because I was sitting at like two and three viewers on the earlier streams. Hey, how's it going, Festus? Um, but it was it was a very rocky start in the beginning. I uh, lost Wolfric immediately and to rebuild that army. It was it was not good. But uh, we made good strides. We're uh, we're actually pretty solidified in our own province now. We still got some things there on the east coast towards uh, towards Kislev to figure out and uh, where the uh, Cracker Jack was doing. Uh, well, welcome Festus. I'm, I'm glad that you're here watching. Um, this is uh, my first Norska campaign like I was saying. Uh, I, I put quite a few hours into uh, Total War Warhammer uh, between the first one and the second one. Uh, somewhere around like 1200 hours at this point. Um, my favorite campaign by far is Dwarf. I'm a huge fan um, of just building up 
massive artillery, iron drakes, and just lighting people on fire. Little time for uh, talking, flame cannon is fantastic. But much Not time for early killing. Game, uh, early to mid game there against the vampires, it does amazing work. But uh, their economy is um, you know, amazingly strong in the uh, campaign, so you can pump out armies without an issue. They are a very defensive faction, obviously, and pretty easy to win with. Uh, so you can take on massive fights and just, you know, do it with confidence. Um, however, if you're looking for more of an entertaining campaign, uh, I enjoyed uh, Tomb Kings quite a bit. They're a very interesting balance, uh, campaign aspect as well as their battle aspect. Campaign because of the, uh, the lack of uh, upkeep. However, you have to build up uh, buildings to give yourself the ability to recruit units, uh, which is very unique. Um, Speak. And uh, it was it was interesting to uh, to play with and to uh, you know oh, wounded. No, no, <laughs> damn them! You killed my work in. Oh, wounded my work in. But uh, Tomb Kings were a lot of fun. I really enjoyed them. I enjoyed the uh, the lore and the, uh, the entire feel of them. It's a good, uh, good starting position. I really enjoyed the constructs. To the four corners. Um, so, oh, those are those are my recommendations. I would, uh, if you're looking for a campaign like that, I don't know how much uh, time into uh, Warhammer you have. By Sigma, no. See fangs. And uh, who you've played, you have. So we'll do this one last battle, and then uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Um, so. Obviously, this battle should be pretty easy, even for a, a person such as myself who is pretty terrible at micromanaging. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you, everyone that's, you know, been here. This is actually, you know, my uh, most popular stream so far, which is, uh, obviously not saying a lot being at like seven and six viewers, but it's, it's nice. Um, so cavalry? Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the dwarves would kind of rule out there, but uh, with Tomb Kings, you still have the chariots everywhere. Uh, and, yes, so, uh, it, I mean, you can get plenty. I mean, yeah, not your traditional cavalry with uh, the Tomb Kings as much because of the constructs, but you still have your, your chariots as well as some, uh, some uh, with the Nekakara. Uh, pretty good cavalry as well. Uh, that being said, though, you can still be mobile with uh, with dwarves, and it will be uh, cavalry. However, you can still use like the uh, the choppers, um, the rangers, uh, even like the kind of slayers to be mobile, and still have some fun with them. Uh, and I mean, if and I usually go dwarves, like if I'm looking for like a legendary campaign, because I've done that a couple times, just to see like how stupid the game can get by allowing the uh, enemy factions to build up like seven full stacks off of one province and then you're just building up numbers as you watch people die from your artillery which is entertaining um, but it's also uh, you know no matter what the game I might play whether uh, when, back when I was playing like uh, World of Warcraft or um, the game like you know the, the Warcraft games themselves it was just always fun to play as the dwarves you know just their mentality um, their, you know just stoic. Stoic is the term I'll give them. It was, it's always entertaining. Yeah, and, and you're right. The rebellions do get very tedious. I mean, I'm playing on very hard right now with Norska, and it's it's a pain. That's why early on it was rough for me. Um, however, with the dwarves, you can maintain the order rather well, so it's not as big of an issue. Um, same with Tomb Kings. They're. Uh, there's quite diversity, or quite a diverse uh, building chain for both of those factions to help you with public order, as well as uh, the dwarves have one of the most in-depth uh, research uh, trees to really give you a lot of different benefits and bonuses. So, I mean, whenever you go, man, there's there's always something good and bad about a faction, whether it be like how they start, uh, their wards, which by the way, Grompen, uh, Grompen, excuse me. Probably one of my favorite uh, lords to go because with that single bomb, he just becomes the king. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Um, but 
like I said, I really favor the uh, dwarves, so I'll keep talking about them and talking about them. You're gonna cut me off one point or another. Uh, but, oh yeah, so uh, I've done a single high elf uh, campaign, and it certainly wasn't good that case. Not to say that he's not a good option, but he's just not my favorite option. I don't like having a squishy lord. I like having a lord that I can toss in there, just like how Wolfric's going on. Um, not to say that I'm, I'm careless with him, but for me, I'm more of a... I guess the terminology they're using in the Three Kingdoms is more romanticized, where I just want them to go in there and I want them to be this tank. I want them to be this hero on the battleground that doesn't care. He doesn't worry about a couple, uh, a couple of yes. units. He can take Your the punishment. Will. He can take that beat. Oh. Absolutely. You can get uh, a couple of those nobles and really, you know, defend Teclas. But at the end of the day, you're, you're worrying about Teclas the entire time. You have to have some bodyguards with them. Um, I mean, you put them on a chariot, it becomes a little more tanky. But, no, that's just my personal opinion. That's my play style. You know, if, and you know how you like to play. And, I mean, that's the whole point of this. I'm, I'm here to have people talk to me about how they like to play and open up my eyes to different play styles. I try to try, oh, I try to try. I try different uh, play styles and different uh, campaigns as often as I can because I like to experience everything this game has to offer, whether it be with a caster lord, like I did Lord Skrull, which love love playing the Skrull in the, uh, uh, excuse me, in the uh, Skaven campaign. He's just, he's amazing. Uh, perfect combination of a, like a tanky lord as well as a, uh, a spellcaster. Yeah, and Orion is he's very tanky. Absolutely. Uh, and I mean that's that's what I usually go for. Uh just so I can send them in there and they can be at the, the heart of the battle and just fighting it out. I enjoy that that aspect. Um not so much like a role playing aspect to it, but just uh like he's leading the charge, he's in the fight, he stays to the end kind of thing. But that's me. Um but I am going to call it a night, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. I've uh, been at it for a couple hours, and it's getting late. Got to be up in a few, or in a few, in like seven hours for work. So hopefully get a little bit of sleep for uh, work this around. Um, I don't know for sure the next time we'll be streaming. Um, hopefully next week sometime. I'm thinking Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night for myself. I'm in Alaska right now, so I'm on Alaska Standard Time, uh, which if you're on the east coast of the U.S. is four hours behind you. Um, however, I do believe Wednesday next week will be my next time. I'm going out this weekend uh, to hunt caribou for the first time, which will be an experience. On the move. And, uh, I'm excited to do it. Where's so. my next quarry? Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for stopping in, and I hope to see you guys again. Uh, it's great to have you.